here again with Sew, Learn, Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and to help us grow. Today's video is a continuation of the one I did last time of my porch redo. We'll be making the rug that goes under your doormat. It's a simple project and doesn't require a whole lot of fabric. So let's get started. So today we're doing the layered doormat. We're making the rug that would go under your regular doormat in your front porch or your back porch or wherever you'd like it to be. So the rug needs to be made out of a fabric that is a little bit heavier than a uh, quilter's cotton. What I'm using is kind of a lightweight upholstery fabric and it has a red stripe. I'm gonna um, not give you dimensions on the size that you need because every outdoor rug is slightly different. I based my rug on a 16 by 24 mat that I'm going to get from the Dollar Tree and that will leave about a two to two and a half inch uh, area around the mat where the rug would show. My fabric is striped and I'm going to turn mine with one fabric with the right side of the red stripe and then the other side I'm going to turn where you can see the back side which is a little more muted. That'll give me two kind of slightly different looks out of the same mat. You could do the rug in two different fabrics so that for the seasons you could just flip it over. Say so you could do one for fall and one for Christmas out of the same rug and not have to make two separate rugs. So to, to sew it together I'm going to put one of my right sides facing up and then I'm going to turn and put this other part that I want to be the right side facing. And then I'm going to line it up carefully making sure all our side seams are lined up and I'm going to use my wonder clips to clip it at the top. So after I get it all clipped then I'll see you at the machine. Now we're at the machine and I want to give you a couple of tips that I've learned over the years. When I stitch something that I've clipped all the way around like I have this piece, where I'm going, I need to leave an opening so I can turn it right side out. So I start with a green clip here, which is where I start my stitching. Then I'm going to put clips all the way around. And then on the other side of my opening, I put a red clip. That means I'm going to start my stitching here and I'm going to stop my stitching at the red clip. It's an easy, uh, colorful reference for me to where I'm going to start and stop so that I don't stitch it all the way closed and then have to open that with a seam ripper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start my stitching here, go all the way around and stop my stitching at the red clip. That will leave my opening where I can turn my rug right side out. Another tip that I've learned is if you use gray thread, most fabrics gray thread blends with. So I don't have to change my thread as often to match my home decor projects that are simple and easy and I don't have to buy special thread for something quick and easy. So I'm going to start my stitching. I'm going to use and do a 5 8 inch seam. And I'm going to start and I'm just going to stitch. Removing my clips as I go. Remember when you get to the corner you want to leave your needle down, lift and turn, be sure you put your presser foot back down and then continue on. So when I finish getting this stitched all the way around I'm going to turn it right side out and give it a good press. Once I've done that we'll come back and I'll show you the finishing touch. So the last step, I've uh, turned my rug right side out. I clipped my corners 
on the inside without a cross, without clipping my stitching, turned it right side out, used my chopstick to poke my corners out so they're nice and crisp. Here's my opening that I need to close up. So the last step is to take and do a top stitch all the way around. I use my machine foot as my guide for my top stitching. You could make your top stitching any width you want, but I like to use my machine foot because it's nice and easy. So I'm going to stitch all the way around. Making sure that that opening is closed, and it is now. And I'll stitch all the way around so it's nice and neat looking. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's project. Be sure to stay till the end to see the finished product. Be sure to subscribe to Sew, Learn, Create, and I'll see you in the next video.